Good Wednesday morning. I'm Stephanie Summers. Thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning, and I'm Brent Strunzi. Have hope you're having a great day. It's going to be a great show. Hey, and by the way, cheers, everyone. Yes. Today is National Wine Day. I say party like it's 1991. Uh, wow. <laughs> I didn't even expect that. He wasn't ready that. for it. I wasn't. I didn't even read the teleprompter to, to see that one. Wow. So raise your glass. There's lots of reasons to celebrate. And what I really love about it is that we can use it. Uh, we always have an excuse to drink it because mm -hmm. it's healthy for you, right? Yep. There's so many benefits to wine. So uh, what is, what's your favorite wine, by the way? Uh, it's a small little winery, and I recommend this to anybody who has a problem with uh, the tannins and the acidity mm -hmm. of red wine, which I do. Uh, it is called Black Chicken. Ooh. And it is That's a cool name. It, it, it yep, and it uh, it's out of California. Ooh, it's by the B Ali B I A L E. Okay. Uh, winery. And is, how about is that? So do you like uh, red or white or do you? Have I like red. I the only red that I drink is like a Syrah or or something like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't discriminate. I'll take red, white, Chardonnay. You name it. So you're it. no respecter <laughs> of wines. I have my preference. Preference would be red, but I like them all. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually went to uh, Napa Valley on my honeymoon, mm -hmm. so I did a little. Got a little. Educated on uh, the whole process and uh, one of my favorite things. I love it. So uh, you can do a lot when it comes to wine glasses. Yeah, this is too, very cool. Way. This is your trick. I love this. So what you do, I mean, this is really a, a great way. We've been doing a lot of interviews and segments on just kind of bringing the outdoors the in and mm -hmm. uh, entertaining, which I know a lot of you like to do in Southwest Florida. So a couple of cool things you can do is just take wine glasses like you see here. You can either do the stemless ones or the long stemmed wine glasses and uh, Add some ambiance to uh, any area in your house. You can make a centerpiece. Uh, pretty easy, though. I'll uh, maybe have you pass Show me those me. lemons right. and uh, lime yep, spray. Yep, yep. And you're just going to put a few slices. Not only does this look pretty, but it looks so refreshing. And you're just going to add uh, a little bit of water to your wine glass. So pour, fill I'll, her up. I'll, I'll fill it up for you. I'll add a little more. The more now, you one, add, the more color you get in there. The one of the things that I saw you do um, to make this a uh, a bug repellent is you had some citronella oil. Yes. Uh, and, and that was kind of a very cool scenario there. So, yeah, you can use the citronella oil and pour that in there so as put, well. I guess it's a few drops. A few drops. There you go. Yeah, yeah. All right. And uh, once you got that in, you're going to add one of these little uh, tea light candles. These little, they'll float at the these top. These are the floating mm -hmm. ones, right? Floating tea lights, yes. And perfect. Look how beautiful that is. So super easy, and uh, I know I'm, I'm assuming a lot of you probably even have this in your house already. So it's something that is so colorful. Really easy, Excuse yeah. Um, that is so colorful. I mean, I just love the way that that looks. Yeah, and even as a centerpiece, if you want to use it outside, maybe you're uh, getting together with some friends out on your your backyard uh, area. Easy peasy. And then another way, if you want to. Uh, Change it up a little bit. You can. Uh, we live in Florida. We. Yeah. You're kind of bringing the outdoors in with this too. You put sand in one of these. Do one of the small uh, ones. See small what a small ones. one looks yeah, like. Yeah. Have you pour the sand in? All right. So you can buy sand like this at a craft store or uh, grab some while you're at the beach, even. Super but you're good. just filling up a glass like that and then adding some seashells into the glass as well. And really the same idea with that. You're going to add another one of those. Um, candles to it. I make a mess on our <laughs> That's okay. So just fill it with the shells. There you go. And add a candle to that. And it's, it's as simple as that. So. Well, the one thing is, don't get the big shell in the small, small there glass. You go. <laughs> so anyway, some cool ideas we thought we would uh, help you celebrate with National Wine Day today. This is awesome, Steph. Yeah. So hope you guys like it. Yeah, this is very cool. I love it. Well, since it is National Wine Day, we thought that we would celebrate by telling you at home where you can find some excellent Florida wines. And Stephanie, our wine connoisseur here, <laughs> uh, found a great big area that takes what it grows and turns it into wine. Yes, yeah, so raise your glass. I'm, I'm right there. Take you guys out to Hen Scratch Farms and Winery. Take a look. A few fast miles just past Route 66 in Lake Placid is a road that leads, well, to the middle of nowhere, I guess. The closest main highway is probably 13 miles away. Um, so yes, we are very rural and people keep on saying, we almost turned around because we weren't there yet, you know, but um, uh, I say that we're worth the trip. Through the grapevine, right about here, is where you'll find a true hidden gem, Hen Scratch Farms and Winery. We are visiting from Denver, so we're trying to do all the fun things we can find around town. And this is one of them. All the wines that we make are made from uh, the, the grapes, the strawberries, and blueberries that we produce here on the farm. You feel the heat coming off of there? Yeah. You picked these right, right off the vine here, right? Yes. I wasn't expecting it to be so sweet. 
and uh, they almost taste like honey when you bite into them. A taste of the simple life and simple wines. It feels like a little down home farm. Ooh, it's a sipping wine. <laughs> you find this little wooden open house to fall to walk through and taste wines, buy a few little accessories. It's not just about the wine out here, though. There are so many other reasons to come out here. Why would someone make the trip out here? Well, um, since we're also named after the street of Henscratch, we also have a um, reputation for our chickens. We have 200 free-range chickens, um, and the kids just love coming out here, and we give them uh, Cheerios to feed the chickens. This is two-year-old heaven. If your kids like to see animals, to see fish, they'll love it. Next time your journey leads you down Boulevard Nowhere, just remember, paradise can still be found. I could never see myself being a farmer or a vintner, but just goes to show you're never too old to learn new tricks. What a great place to see and sample some of the best wine. Uh, you can try it before you bite, so that's one of the best things. I love that, and if that's something that's important to you, uh, then we've got an app that will oh, yes. help keep you super interested. Uh, one that I think that you're really going to love. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It is today's app of the day, and it helps you pick out wine like a pro. The delectable app can help you whether you're a new to wine or a longtime connoisseur. This app is as awesome, and it recognizes uh, any size bottle and lets you uh, scan reviews. Uh, so if you want to go out and find that Bialy or whatever your favorite yeah. wine label is, Steph. This is right here at your fingertips, too, with the instant wine recognition technology. All you have to do is take a photo, and then the app will identify the wine in seconds. How cool is that? You can even get reviews and tasting notes on any wine of, uh, from the world's leading wine community. So you scan an unlimited number of wines for free. Follow top wine makers and also wine pros. And you can explore curator lists and discover your next favorite wine. You can also add your own ratings and tasting notes uh, to keep track of your favorites. Uh, then you can buy wine right from your phone and they'll deliver it to your doorstep. How easy is that? Super easy. You know, that got me thinking. We said wine pros. What does it take to be a wine pro? Is it just like the drinking it? Is that uh, what? That's a whole <laughs> lot of tasting. I want to be a wine pro. <laughs> a little cheese with that wine, please. So